all right folks what is going on welcome back to another one so we're here at the trailer place you can see this guy's getting loaded with all these baby old trailers that looks sketchy dude on that freaking styrofoam but we're gonna be loading those dumpers over there so we're gonna see if we can make it fit because i told him i was like i'm i can't move these drives or the drive and the steer so unless the trailer it can fit under the trailer then good but if not then there's no hot tamale here i'm just gonna have to find something else because i'm not gonna sit here and do something that's just sketchy or whatever so but yeah i don't know i've just been having a, a crappy week the crappy start of the week we got the that load that didn't really pay much messed up trailer now we got this stuff but the week will get better i just got a phone call from the agent to haul the uh moffets so we might be getting something good here <clears throat> not gonna lie to you guys it's probably the sketchiest load i've ever done look at this overhang on the front dude that does not look legal at all so i'm waiting on their apply from safety but yeah they basically want me to chain uh strap that down and then strap it on these freaking hooks up there so and then i gotta strap down my freaking wheels and everything but agent lied of course said it was 25k this load's like 35k so changes a lot because each one of these are like 5200 pounds so there's two four there's six and then another one on top so yeah i'm never hauling these things ever again i freaking ripped the strap I had to go inside and pay 40 bucks for another one so yeah that's that's awesome so but yeah man this load is a nightmare um i just i hate the way it's strapped it but that's the way the freaking dude told me to do it <clears throat> so yeah but i'm totally exhausted i need a shower but the shower ain't gonna happen until later i still got like three hours to drive so yeah uh we're up here in greenville tennessee uh we're headed up to ohio oh man this load that i've been on is a freaking nightmare <laughs> like I don't know if y'all saw in the earlier clip, but like they put the trailers right on uh, the deck. They put, they take the wheels off, basically put like the axle <laughs> and the U-bolts on the wood, okay? They put these big old styrofoam blocks and they put wood on the blocks, okay? And um, yeah, dude. And they expect you to strap that down. And literally, like, you have to imagine, they put another trailer on that styrofoam and wood. So, the more that you, like, go over bumps and whatnot and stuff like that, like, it just sinks into the styrofoam and the strap gets loose. And, like, it's just been a nightmare load for me, dude. Probably never gonna haul these ever again in my life. Like from the get-go like i had this weird gut feeling and i should probably should have trusted it to not do this freaking load because the way i looked at how they were loading this stuff like i was just like yeah nah you know but i needed something to get me up to ohio but you know lesson learned i ain't never gonna haul these again after this you know i've had to stop i did like 300 miles yesterday because that's all i could drive because i got there at eight they got me loaded at 3.30, and by that time, all my time was, like, gone. So, I only did, like, 300 miles. I had to stop, like, four or five times because stuff kept getting loose, broke a strap, you know. Just, just been pain in my ass, honestly. But, the good news is, is we're uh, loading up Moffitt's up there in Ohio, probably sometime saturday because by the time we're gonna get to where we're going today it'll be already too late because i think the moffitt stopped shipping at like three or four <laughs> but yeah other than that about to hit the road all right guys we're currently going down this freaking mountain got that jake screaming we got like four and a half miles but uh yeah we're going like 55 down this mountain so but there was a bad accident on the other side, man. That was pretty dang bad. So, yeah. We're uh, slowly but surely. 
barely getting down this bad boy. Thank God for these uh, cakes. I'm so glad I got these things fixed because it's actually working like it's supposed to. So, but, um, yeah, it worked pretty dang good. I can't complain. We're finally getting this headache load off. Thank God. So they're gonna have to back us into the street so we can get out of here. I'm gonna go shower. Then we're probably gonna end up going to Mighty Products. Gotta get some more straps since these trailers freaking broke my straps. So even broke this new one. Well, kind of frayed it, but I think it'll still be all right. But yeah, man, never doing these again, literally. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, we put everything away. We're just waiting for these guys. They just sunk a hole in their asphalt trying to get these things out because I guess they're so heavy and the asphalt's so hot. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this little trailer joint, you can't even turn around in here, dude. It's crazy. I'm trying to call the agent to see if I can just prepay for the tow truck and just unload these things over the weekend and just work over the weekend, you know what I mean? Kind of make it better for me, you know? Um, but yeah, man. So I'm gonna wait for these guys to do the thing. Strap my tires back down on my dungeon and we're out of here. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> these guys got stuck, dude. Look at this. So yeah, there's the freaking styrofoam as y'all seen, dude. What a headache. But uh, so yeah. This man's stuck over here with the forklift. Crazy. Damn, dude. Bro literally got stuck with the forklift in a sinkhole. That's insane, bro. Look at that. Wow. You have a mic, bro. All right, guys. We are freaking finally hanging out. I took a shower. We're parked up in Ohio. Uh, I believe this is like Akron. Akron. So we're up here in Ohio. I'm at this big old TA. Um, Unfortunately, as y'all seen, uh, that thing got stuck. They had to get pulled out by a bigger forklift from their neighbors. And, um, yeah, I was trying to make it to get loaded with the Moffats, but obviously that didn't work out. So we're going to have to load it in the morning. I got an 8 a.m. appointment. And the worst part is the place that I'm delivering to, my first stop is in Columbus. So I'll only be able to do maybe like what is it what is it like 70 80 100 miles on my i don't even know and then i literally have to sit until monday do a 35 i probably gotta do a 34 but the thing is, is i still got like 50 hours on my work week so but it is what it is you can't pick you know what you do sometimes you know you just have setbacks so that's just the way life is um the week is getting a little better i mean it's the end of the week already but yeah, the, the, it's just been, oh, oh man, it's been rough. I, I understand why it's so rough always coming back out the first week, because you got to get back in the groove of things and everything, so. But, trailer's freaking empty, thank God. Um, I'm having issues with my air dryer. So, yeah, when I'm, like, uh, pushing in the trailer brake, it'll take, like, a minute or two to freaking actually release the brakes on the trailer and I can tell it's the, the air dryer because um, it's not purging off every time it hits like 120 psi on the air so yeah um, but on that note hope you guys enjoyed this video man um, doubt you did if you did um, you know thanks for watching and to everybody that I met on the road, I met like three of you guys on in Tennessee at that TA. You know who you are. Uh, the brother I met in Georgia at that other TA where my trailer was getting fixed. Shout out to all you guys. Um, remind me, I have like a stack of 200 stickers. And if I ever see you guys out on the road and you ever see me, be like, hey, AK, can I can I get a sticker? I, I brought stickers this time for that single purpose to give it to y'all. So, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.